All right. Now the questions for electric field. Two point charges, uh, Q1 negative one coulomb and Q2 positive four coulomb are placed two cm and three cm from the point A respectively, as shown in the figure below. Okay, so we have two charges here. Um, one is negative charge, one is a positive charge. Okay, find the magnitude and direction of the electric field intensity at point A. So yes, the question asks for. Uh, electric field intensity, yeah. Uh, that means, um, okay, electric field intensity. You see the word. Sometimes, uh, the uh, we we say electric field strength. Uh, but sometimes we use electric field intensity. Right? Both mean the same, yeah. Uh, sometimes we can say as electric field strength. Okay. Uh, sometimes we can say electric field intensity. Uh, both mean the same thing. E, yeah. Uh, both want to find the E, okay, intensity and the strength is the same. Okay, um, okay. The question he want the magnitude and direction of electric field intensity. So, uh, even uh, let's say the question doesn't have these words, magnitude and direction. Okay, uh, the question just say uh, find the electric field strength or electric field intensity at point A. Uh, you still need to give. Uh, both uh, uh, magnitude and direction. Yeah. Uh, even he just asked, he just give you, uh, he just asked about electric field intensity. Uh, we know it is a vector, isn't it? Uh, we know, sorry, we know this thing is a vector. Uh, it's a vector. For a vector, if the question asks for a vector, uh, you must give both, uh, you must give direction also. Uh, if you don't give direction, uh, you will lose mark. Okay? Uh, you will lose mark. So remember that. Okay? Uh, right. Let's wrap all, all this. Now, uh, I want to find electric field strength at point A. Uh, so, uh, as you can see, electric field strength formula is KQ over R square. Uh, KQ over R square. So, for electric field, electric field strength, it only depends on point charge. Uh, he doesn't need a test charge. Uh, he did only look at one charge. So, um, he only look at the charge Q1. Uh, Q1 provide the electric field for A and Q2 also provide electric field for A. Uh, so, he doesn't actually need a test charge at, the, at this point. Yeah? Even there is no test charge here, yeah? no test charge at A, uh, there is still electric field. Yeah? There is still electric field because Q1 uh, Q1, uh, you know, Q1 give, uh, produce the electric field for A and Q2 also, um, you know, uh, Q2 also provide electric field for, for A. Uh, so, Q1 uh, provide the electric field E1, Q2 provide electric field for E2. Uh, okay, so you don't really need a test charge over here for electric field to exist. Uh, even there is no test charge here, electric field still exists because there is a point charge uh, uh, at the neighborhood who provide electric field for the point A. Okay? Now, let's find the, re, uh, we can say the resultant electric field strength at point A. So, uh, as I can see, uh, this Q1, uh, electric field is into the charge, isn't it? Into the charge. Uh, so, what is the direction of electric field uh, due to charge 1? Okay, because it's uh, towards the Q1, isn't it? Uh, so, uh, at point A, electric field 1 is uh, to the left. Uh, to the left. Okay, uh, this is E1 uh, because uh, the, ele the electric field is uh, towards the negative charge. Okay, towards the negative charge. So, electric field for E1 is towards the Q1. Right, and then how about Q2? Uh, the electric field from Q2. Q2, the electric field is going out, going out. So at uh, this position, um, must uh, the electric field must going away from Q2, going away from Q2. That means uh, also to the left. Uh, okay, uh, this one is E2. Right. Uh, okay, E1 towards the Q1. E2 is going away from Q2. Uh, 
So as a result, we can see E1 and E2 both moving to the left. Yeah, both uh, electric field moving to the left. Uh, this is the, the direction. Okay, so before we find the resultant electric field strength for A, let us uh, calculate the magnitude for each of them. Yeah, magnitude for E1 and magnitude for E2. Okay, let's calculate. Uh, so for E1, uh, okay, one thing, electric field is a vector. It's a vector. So when you want to calculate uh, the magnitude, uh, you want to calculate the magnitude, uh, the charge, we just ignore the negative sign. Yeah, we just ignore the negative sign because uh, we, uh, we don't want to mess up the calculation. Uh, we don't want to mess up, uh, if you put a negative sign there, yeah, if you put a negative sign, uh, maybe negative 10 and something, yeah, uh, over 7, and then you get a negative value. Uh, later on, you want to find the resultant. Uh, you, uh, so, yeah, you have a negative sign here. Uh, it messes up your calculation. Uh, mess up your calculation. So, better you just maintain all value of all the magnitude. You just maintain all the magnitude as uh, positive. Uh, you just maintain all the value as uh, positive. Uh, positive value. Yeah. Uh, you maintain the E1 as positive. Uh, E2 also positive. Uh, so when uh, you want to calculate the resultant electric field, uh, the resultant vector, uh, you just put the uh, positive and negative sign according to the direction. Uh, according to the direction. So uh, for magnitude part, you just maintain all positive value. Uh, how to maintain all positive value? Uh, the charge, you just ignore the negative sign. Okay? Uh, that's the reason. So uh, let us wrap off uh, all these. Uh, wrap off all these. Okay, uh, let's continue uh, our calculation. So uh, for vector, you just the charge is just ignore the negative sign. Uh, so what is k? Uh, k is uh, nine exponent nine. Okay, for the charge q one q one. Ah, you see, charge q one is a uh, negative one, isn't it? Uh, we do we just ignore the negative sign. We just put as one. Uh, just put as one. We want to maintain uh, the magnitude as positive value. That's why our charge we ignore the negative sign. Yeah, we want to maintain the magnitude as positive value. The charge we just ignore negative sign. Okay, so how far is the point A to charge one? Uh, it is two cm. All right, two cm convert to meter. It is a uh, 0 0.02 meter. Uh, so uh, that's it. Huh? And then uh, calculate, I will get answer uh, 2.25 exponent. Yeah, uh, 2.25 exponent 13 uh, Newton per coulomb. Uh, that's the that's the value, the magnitude. Okay, remember the magnitude, I just want to maintain. Uh, positive value. I just want to maintain positive value. Uh, how to maintain positive value? The charge just ignore the negative sign. If it, if the charge is a negative charge, okay. Now how about E two? Uh, e two, uh, E two. Um, uh, just uh, uh, do the same thing. Yeah, just do the same thing. Uh, e two is uh, uh, k is nine exponent nine. Uh, nine exponent nine. Sorry. Uh, 9 exponent 9. The charge Q2 is a uh, positive 4 coulomb. Yeah, just a uh, positive 4 coulomb. Over how far is the point A? Point A to Q2? 3 cm. Okay, 3 cm is a uh, 0.03 meter. Okay, 0 0.03 meter. Uh, don't forget the square. Many students forget about the square below here. Uh, many students forget about the uh, square, square below here. Uh, they just put R. That's it. They forget the R need to be square. Uh, okay, remember that. So now, uh, calculate. Uh, I will get uh, 4 exponent. 4 exponent. Uh, 13 uh, Newton per coulomb. Okay, that's the unit for electric field strength or electric field intensity. Well, uh, maintain all the magnitude as positive value, yeah? Uh, how to maintain positive value for, for magnitude? The charge, we just ignore the negative sign. Now, 
uh, we want to calculate the resultant uh, we because we already get uh, each electric field we already get the e1 and e2 now we want to find resultant okay uh, both electric field to the left isn't it uh, both to the left so remember uh, for vectors okay so for vectors uh, uh, you still remember for vectors okay the direction is very important uh, the direction is very important uh, for vectors we uh, the direction is very important and we use positive negative sign to uh, show the direction okay going up is positive going left right to the positive going left is negative going down is negative uh, for direction uh, you need to use the negative sign okay uh, for example to the left direction to the left we put negative direction down also we put negative okay so for this case for this case uh, both electric field is to the left isn't it both electric field to the left means both uh, both electric field to the left means uh, both direction negative uh, you need to put as negative value okay so uh, use your red pen uh, right uh, direction to the left negative okay e1 is negative uh, you see this one only has x component uh? only x component so very easy yeah uh, so um, e1 is uh, okay uh, negative because direction to the left so negative e1 and then uh, this is uh, for e1 and then what else and then plus uh, the e2 e2 also direction to the left uh, direction to the left so also negative uh, also negative uh, negative e2 ah that's it we use the negative sign only for direction only to show direction okay ah uh, so we uh, you must put a negative sign here uh, so uh then we just uh, substitute in all the values uh, e1 is uh, 2.25 exponent 13 so we have a negative uh, 2.25 exponent uh, 13 uh, and then plus a negative uh, 4 exponent 13 eh, 13 uh, so uh, in the end i get what i get the value is uh, negative uh, negative uh, 6.25 exponent exponent 30 newton per coulomb so what is the negative here means what does it mean by this negative uh, this negative means direction of the resultant is to the left uh, direction of the resultant is to the left uh, or you also can write as uh, to the left means is towards the q1 uh, towards the q1 yeah uh, or you can say towards uh q1 okay uh, to the left or right towards q1 so uh that uh so the negative sign means to the left eh? it just to show the direction now uh b uh, b the question asks for find the uh, total electric force exerted on q0 uh, q0 which is a negative test charge okay uh, this is a test charge yeah I write that uh, this is a test charge if it is placed at point a uh, now i put a test charge over here okay i put a test charge over here which is a negative test charge uh, this is a q naught ah what happened what is the total force uh, the question asks for force now yeah total force now uh, point a so how to find the force uh, we already have the total electric field strength uh, we already have the total electric field strength so we just use the total electric field strength multiplied by the test charge uh, according to this formula isn't it force equal to test charge times the electric field at a okay uh, force experienced by the test charge at a is equal to the test charge itself multiplied by the electric field uh, electric field strength experienced by the test charge at position A. Uh, yeah, we already got the electric field, electric field at point A. 
Uh, so uh, that that is the electric field. Huh? The, the electric field at A is the electric field that experienced by the test charge. Uh, so uh, we already got we already got the electric field strength at point A. So just multiply this electric field strength with the test charge, and we got the force uh, acting on the test charge. Yeah, force acting on the test charge. Now let's do it. Our test charge. Yeah, you see, sometimes the charge need to put the negative sign just to determine direction. Again, here the negative sign is just to show direction. Uh, so now here we purposely we purposely uh, put in the negative sign to show uh, the direction of the force with electric field. Uh, so, okay, the charge here is actually negative four, isn't it? Uh, I purposely put a negative sign. Uh, it's not about the magnitude, it's just to show the direction. Okay? Uh, Q0 is a negative 4, sorry, again, uh, it is a negative 4, and then my electric field strength is a negative, okay, I put in the negative sign also, uh, uh, negative sign, uh, and then uh, 6.25 exponent 13, uh, okay, so in the end, uh, I get a negative times negative, what do you get? Uh, you get a positive value. Uh, so later I want you to know what is the meaning of this positive negative sign over here. Uh, you get positive 2.5 exponent for uh, Newton. Ah, so now, just now my electric field strength is to the left, isn't it? My electric field strength is to the left, uh, which is uh, uh, negative. Huh? Negative means direction to the left. Uh, so where is my direction of my force? Where is my direction of my force? Uh, so that's why uh, here I purposely put in the negative sign. I put in the electric field. I put in negative sign. Test charge also we maintain the negative sign. Yeah, substitute the negative sign, and then negative times negative we get positive. Uh, so this positive means direction to the right. Uh, direction to the Right. You see the positive negative sign, the purpose is just to show the direction. Uh, and from here you can see uh, the direction of force is to the right. That means uh, the force now is to the right. Yeah, force is to the right. So maybe I draw, yeah, my, my I draw uh, my electric field, my um, my electric force is to the right. Uh, my force is to the right. Uh, electric field to the left. Force to the right. Uh, opposite direction. Force and electric field, opposite direction because it is a negative test charge. Uh, so you come to a conclusion that you still remember the lecture video? Lecture video? When the test charge is a negative test charge, when test charge is a negative test charge, the force and electric field will become opposite direction. Uh, will become opposite direction. How to prove this? You use the negative sign, yeah. Substitute the negative sign into a test charge. Uh, you multiply, and then you can see force and electric field. They have opposite sign. Uh, opposite sign. Electric field is negative sign. Force is positive sign. Opposite sign. When opposite sign means they have opposite direction. Uh, opposite direction. So, uh, in the end, the conclusion is uh, the E A direction is to the left. Okay, uh, the force A is to the right. Uh, opposite direction. Why opposite? Because you have a negative test charge. Uh, the direction become opposite. So that's all for this question. Okay, let's uh, let's see again uh, the the next videos. Thank you.